First of all, I do want to apologize for the quality of last video. Last video was trash audio quality. Like, I had my mic up into my face and I could, I was breathing and it was disgusting. Anyway, here is the little Oryx encounter, or not Oryx, sorry, War Priest encounter that I've made for you guys. Uh, it looks pretty crappy, but it's actually a thing. So, th so this is an orientation of where we are. That's the little black rock, that's the first plate, or the middle plate. There's the left plate, and then there's the right plate. I'm going to put little R, and M, and then L, so you know it's left, middle, or right, etc. So there's going to be, this is a very direct overhead view. So say you're in first person right now, you're looking at my house and stuff. So if you were to see this house part, like where the lamp is and stuff, it would be vertical, looking from it from above. Ignore my demon thing drawing there. Anyway, so this is the War Priest. Sorry about the lens flare stuff. This is the War Priest um, walkthrough through a walkthrough, pretty much. I don't know how to say it. It's here's a walkthrough through War Priest. <laughs> I don't know. So you're gonna have to have since you have six people on your fire team. If you don't, then you're really screwed. You're gonna have to have two people go to middle plate, two people go to right plate, and then two people go to left plate. You're gonna have one person step on middle plate, one person step on right, one person step on left. Blah, blah 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 blah, and once you have at least one person on every single plate, that starts off the thing. There's this giant black thing in the back. It's like a giant death orb of destruction and looks evil and stuff. And that's going to be there. Do not step into that thing, no matter what your friends say. I usually tell my friends as a joke, who start out in the War Priest for the first time, that there is a calcified fragment in there. There actually isn't. You just step in there and you automatically die. Do not pull. Pro tip. Do not pull this prank on people if you're in hard mode or you're going to have to wipe everyone and then everyone's going to get mad and it's not a fun time. Anyway, so, <coughs> excuse me, you have one person on all of these and then you're going to see right underneath this little oculus, you're going to see the war priest spawn. He's a guy that looks really big, he's got a big red cape and dude, the only reason you should shoot him is if someone is really low and they're getting shot by him, usually he shoots out like little boomer knight missiles and if someone gets shot by him and killed, you're pretty screwed for those 30 seconds. So the only reason to shoot him is to get his attention when someone really needs to get the attention off of him. But anyway, so say, uh, where is it? You have to draw one right here. Sorry, uh, this is very crude on the spot drawing. But through this door, yes, those are doors, that door and that back door, and a little back door all the way back there somewhere. There are going to be acolytes and wizards spawning in, in little groups. You have to kill them, make sure they all die. Watch out for the enraged acolytes. Acolytes are going to, once you kill the adepts, which are acolytes with yellow health and are called adepts, once you kill those, the acolytes that you kill are going to be enraged. They're going to be all red and they're going to be mini cyclopses that shoot down where you are. Make sure there's always two people around right plate, middle plate, and left plate until you need to. So. Once you kill all those ads, if you have your TV sound on, I usually keep it off, but I just check to look around. There will be three hollowed knights spawning. One spawning either here or here on the ground, towards middle, where you're going to have to kill it. There's going to be one spawning through that door for right. Excuse the faded drawings in the back if you want to see on this side. Here's a more disgusting version of the War Priest drawing, and it's very inaccurate. I just decided to redraw it. Anyway. There will be a Hollow Knight spawning here, here, over in that door, and then one over in that door. It's either here or here. You have to find out. It's the middle of your... Actually, I don't think there's one. There is one in middle, but you have to find it. Once they're all dead, then someone in middle is going to have to run up right, right over here in between the ledge up to the War Priest so he can't shoot you, and on the three pillars. Yes, these are pillars. Very crude drawing. And he will call out, or she, don't discriminate, will call out who steps on what plate. There's going to be a fiery, like, spontaneously combusting thing over one of these three pillars. So say it starts fiery stuff on left. The person's going to yell out left. One of the two people on left will step onto it. That person will be all happy, and they stand there until the final person step on their plate jumps off. Then either the middle or the right is going to flame into a fiery combustion. Say the right one steps on there. Yeah, say it's calls right. The right person steps on and then they step on. They wait for the middle, the middle person steps on, and then stuff's going to happen, but right before that happens, let's just say when right is called, so I'm going to continue this, but wait just a second, sorry.
Say when the person is calling left, he accident he or she accidentally says right. Right goes on, then the little uh, pillar or not the pillars, the little little plates that are like glowing white or whatever are gonna go red, and it says like blah blah blah, glyph sequence broken. The person's gonna yell out, and everyone has to yell out, or just enough people, not everyone, has to yell to get off the plates. Otherwise, you're wasting time. You're gonna all die, and it's not pretty. So, say left is called, left gets on, right is called, right gets on, middle gets on, or middle is called, middle gets on. The middle person is going to have, let me see, I made a few cutouts here, I wonder if I have it. There it is, at the bottom of the cutouts. Someone will have a little bubble, and that, it's like a little defender bubble, but it's a little more faded and a little more white. The first time that you do this little call out thing, you run to the back and there's going to be a tiny rock behind the middle. You're all going to run back there behind it in the bubble and shoot the war priest between the pillars. This is where Black Spindle is the god weapon. Use it, use it, use it. If you have a bubble, like a defender bubble, I would say pop it behind this bubble. Otherwise, you're screwed. I say you're that one lucky guy in the middle to get that, um, to get the bubble, to be the last person on the plate, and you get this old red bubble around you. You stand back there, and you're actually not going to be shooting the war priest. You are going to be taking care of the adds. The adds running it from here, saving around. They're not going to do much damage to everyone. There might be an occasional accolade on everyone. Just throw one of those nades that stays there for a little bit. Grenades, sorry, I say nades. <coughs> anyway, once you do that, you're going to have to, well, while you are there sitting in the bubble, you're actually not doing damage to war piece, blah, blah, blah. As I said, when you're taking out ad control, you're going to have to take them out one at a time. You're going to have in the bottom, uh, in the bottom, left of your screen, you're going to have this thing called like the Weaver brand of the Swiggity Swooty, I'm coming for that booty or something like that. And it's going to start off at nine seconds. Wait until it's at three or two or something like that. And make sure you have a clear range on one of the acolytes. I would say if you have a hand cannon or a pulse rifle, preferably bad juju, something that can do one burst damage, is easy to scope, like mid-range, I would say use it. I, since... I've started doing this. I have used the future war called Vanity Hand Cannon, which is really awesome. Mini Fate Bringer, by the way, self promotion. But anyway, so you take that hand cannon and you sh or whatever you have, preferably hand cannon. If you have one, use it. Shoot one of the acolytes at like two or three seconds on your brand of initiate or whatever, or not brand of initiate. What we call it like, I'm just gonna call it banana butt on your banana butt ability. And then once that, once that acolyte is dead it'll bring back the timer up to 9 seconds and you keep doing that over and over again so that everyone can do damage to war priest. Eventually in the text chat in the bottom right uh, in the bottom left where it says like somebody dances, it'll say that the war priest has called upon the oculus. That's why you're all in the bubble behind this little uh behind this little rock. Eventually the person who's shooting all the ads at the bubble will not be able to be the bubble man anymore and the bubble will disappear. Bada boop. You're all going to have to hide behind this little a uh, rock, don't worry. You can stand a little farther back behind the rock, but not too far back. Don't be too cocky. And make sure you're crouching and just staying behind the rock. While he does that, all the ads are going to get killed. There's going to be a giant white flash all across the screen. And then, yeah, you start it again. You get the two people in the middle, you get two people on right, two people on left. Kill the ads, Hollow Knights, call the plates. And then, once you do that, say left or something is called. You never go left, because left you have to jump up and then jump over to left for like when you're shooting. For the first time, you go down behind that mini rock and shoot the crap out of War Priest. For this time, if it's left, middle, or right, you're going to go over to right. Shoot War Priest through that way, the person's ads, stay on the side of the ledge. Make sure you're inside of that guy's bubble. So that's what allows you to do damage, otherwise the War Priest is immune. Once that happens, you stand behind the tiny rock right next... Actually, no. You do not stand behind that pillar. Pillar doesn't work. It takes too long to get to. Stand behind the tiny little thing right next to it. right. It's on the right of the right plate. Stay there, and then you've done it, and you would be all happy. From there on out, if you're a really, really good highlight team, you have killed War Priest already. But if you're doing it one more time, you go off, go to the right, and then hide behind that thing again. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And also, one last thing. If you are the person, or if you guys are doing the War Priest Challenge mode. The war, you don't ha actually, yeah, you have to. For Challenge mode, and you want to get that calcified fragment like everyone else does, you have to take, so say a middle is called th two times. 
like for you're going through rounds and you call like left, right, middle. One of the people in the middle gets the orb, you go back here and you go pew pew and shoot those people there. And then it's called like right, left, middle again. That that person in the middle who got it before cannot be the person to get it again. It has to be the second person at middle. Same thing with right and left. If left's called twice, it can be it has to be the other person. Right's called twice, it has to be the other person. If you wanna deal with that, uh getting over to over to left is really hard to get to, but getting down from left to middle or right is really easy, and from middle and right you can switch around all the time. So I would say if you're a really good person at holding that aura or whatever, I would say you would have to, you could really quickly switch over to middle, or no, you would switch over to the plate that needs someone to be there and, or who needs to have the bubble, and if you haven't had it already, you can, Basically, since you have two people in the middle, two people on the right, two people on the left, you can technically, since this isn't like you're locked as the two people here in the middle for the rest of the game, you can technically just switch with the people on the right or on the left, and then you can just have them be the person who takes the bubble or whatever, as long as they know what they're doing. And also, if you're in the middle, you are the person calling out that stuff over there. Do not be the person on right or left who's calling on that. That's, no, it's just, no, it doesn't work. Go on, be the person in the middle because you can just go over there and then go back out. And technically, you can just run back over to your plate if you're fast enough. Anyway, that's it. That's how to kill War Priest. And then once he's down, and oh god, if you did it on hard mode, then congrats to you. You have a chance right around here. Sorry for the shakiness of the camera. Right around there, right in the front. You just like, everyone just left, runs around there, right runs around there, and then middle runs around right or just jumps up and stuff you get over to that chest once the war priest is dead it's going to be in his body you just like teabag him his body is like transparent so you can go through it you go in there and you will get yourself either a harrowed elohim's frenzy which is the oh no you will get an elohim's frenzy harrowed if it is hard mode which is the raid rocket launcher and then you will get either that chance you will or you will have the chance to get the Defiance of Yasmin, Harrowed Defiance of Yasmin, if it is hard mode, which is the sniper rifle, which is amazing. And then you have the chance also to get the Quillum's Terminus, or Harrowed Quillum's Terminus, which is the solar legendary, literally god machine gun, that if you have that, I have one personally, it is literally a god gun, and you will kill everyone in Crucible. Once you've done that, the Ocul Oculus up here, once you've killed War Priest and gotten all your stuff, the Oculus up here will disappear. You will go into a portal underneath here. I didn't draw it. And then you will go into the uh, Golgoroth maze. Or, yeah, you'll go into the... No. You won't go into the Golgoroth maze. You're going to go... Yeah, you're going to go into the Golgoroth maze. And then once you do that, um, that's where this video ends. And if you guys want me to make a video on how to get through that maze, it's going to take a bit of time, but I can do it if you need me to. And yeah, that's pretty much it. See you guys later. I don't know if I'm going to make another part today, but that's it. Bye-bye.